Hey guys, it's Marvette and I decided to make this little avatar video real quick and see if I could not explain um, what exactly I meant when I was referencing that you need to get a website via WordPress versus just having a website through say Big Cartel or through Shopify. So let me see if I can break this down and make it as simple and clear as possible. So two things. One, when you get a website through Shopify, and I'm not telling you not to get a website through Shopify because Shopify is designed specifically for you guys to have a website that has products on it so that you can list and post your products and accept payments the whole nine yards and big cartel does basically the same thing so just keep that in mind that shopify is designed for you to be able to put products on and sell your products directly on the shopify platform in addition to that you could also have your own website a completely separate website because maybe you sell products but your website actually has like I have a blog site and my website is about blogging and you know all the other things that I talk about on the website but I may have an area on my website where you can also shop because maybe I have a product t-shirts that I'm also selling so there is an app that you would link to through your WordPress website and you can link back to Shopify so that when someone goes to purchase an item, all of that is still linked directly back through your Shopify site. So as you guys know, you can sell your own products on Shopify and Big Cartel, or you can also link to a drop shipment company. So if you were selling t-shirts when someone places an order, it actually goes to the vendor who prints the t-shirts, ships the t-shirts out, they process the payment, um, Shopify or Big Cartel then ultimately sends you your money back. So there's some apps that link directly to your website. The reason I suggest that you get your own self-hosted website is because a website is like property it means that you own it. So if you were to go to my website, themelaningoddess.com, that website is hosted through Bluehost. So I paid a separate fee through Bluehost and they're like the, they're the back end of the site. They're where I store my files and all of my information. So if you understand that, that a website has to be hosted somewhere it has to be hosted somewhere so i could build my own website or use a website template and then host it through bluehost or i could go to a service like wix wix provides you with hosting but they also provide you with the website template now the big difference is is that if at the end of the day I decide to leave Wix, I can't take that template with me. That template actually belongs to Wix. I'd have to copy all of my information and everything down off of the template. So at that point, all you have is copy information, but the actual template itself, that template belongs to Wix. So if you ever decide to switch and go to another company, you in essence may have to start your website all over. Whereas the website that I have, because I own my website and it is hosted with Bluehost, if I were to leave and go somewhere else, I could actually transfer my entire website. I could download all the files and there's some apps that would allow me to transfer the website over to say SiteGround, which is another hosting company that does um, just it deals with with a lot of blogs and stuff. So, 
Keep in mind that the other aspect is that oftentimes if you are, say you have a blog website and your blog website is on wordpress.com, they have a free service and they also have a paid service. And you'll know when somebody is not self-hosted because typically you'll see a name like, you know, jamesmith.shopify.com. That means that they are being hosted on Shopify. Or if you go, if you see a blog site that says, you know, jamesmith.blogger.com. The other aspect is that they tend to restrict what you can advertise and how you generate income off of your website. And if the goal is we are all trying to make money, then the very best thing that you can do is in fact to self-host is to self-host your website. So you definitely want to be self-hosted. Um, so I hope that this explains a little bit. Um, and if you guys still have questions, then by all means, you know, you're you're welcome to hit me up and I'll see if I can't, you know, clarify anything. So if you guys still have questions about blogging and why you should self-host, um, and again, I'm not telling you not to use Shopify um, because I use Shopify, but I am incorporating the Shopify app basically into my website. So I'll still be using Shopify, but on top of that, I will have a self-hosted website. So if I decide to go and host with someone else, I don't have to start my website all over from scratch. And that's what I'm seeing happens to a lot of people is that they start with some of the other companies and it seems like it makes sense. But then you realize that they make their money off of, if you look at Wix, Wix runs advertisements on your site. Now you can pay the extra money and have it all removed, but of course they charge you for that. But again, if you were to leave Wix, you have to leave, you don't own that template. So it's not a template that you downloaded and paid for, and you can take that template wherever you want and host it on any website. So I hope this helps. If you guys still have questions, feel free to give me a call, 404-396-4519. Thanks.